Roland's little feet are one of the easiest things to make on this pattern. So let's get it started. We need to make 14 feet, so there'll be seven on either side. We need to first start with a slip knot to put on our hook, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and wrap the yarn around, tuck a loop in, and pull tight, putting that on our hook. For this, I used a size D hook. This is a 3.25 millimeter hook, and so that will make the feet just slightly smaller. We've got our slip knot on our hook. We're going to go ahead and chain two, so we yarn over and we pull through. That's one chain, yarn over, pull through. There's two chains. Now going back into the first chain you just made, you're going into the middle of the V that it has there, to the back, yarning over in the back, pulling through through now there's two loops on the hook and then and then pull all the way through the loops and that is it all we need to do now is make this loop a little bigger snip away and then that working tail pull that tail through the loop and pull tight and that's it that's his little foot so you need to make again 14 of those all right when you're ready to make the antenna, you want to go ahead and get your black and white little bonbon yarns, okay? And you also want to get a smaller size hook. I'm using a size B, which is a two and a quarter millimeter hook, and your stitch marker as well, okay? So we're going to first be starting off with the black. What we're going to do is we're going to do a chain four. So I'm wrapping it around. I need to do a slip knot here okay so I'm just pulling I wrapped it around and I'm pulling up a loop just like that and then I'm going to tighten it around my hook okay now I'm going to go ahead and chain four so I wrap it the yarn over and then I just pull it through that loop that's a that's a chain so there's one yarn over pull through there's two yarn over pull through there's three yarn over pull through there's four all right, now what we wanna do is we wanna go back into that first chain that we made. We're creating a tube, okay? And I do have another video on this technique uh, that we did for the Happy Sunflowers stem. So what you're gonna do is go into the V in the middle, coming out through the back, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through that loop on your hook. So this is creating that center circle. It's very small. But where that circle is, you wanna grab your tail with your hook and pull that through, okay? So that way it's around the outside. Okay, so now that we've done that, we first need to do single crochet around to finish off the first round, okay? So there should be four single crochets to start. You're gonna be working in the back loops only around the chain. So there's one. And I know it's very hard to see because it is black, which never makes anything easy to see, right? But do your best to pick up each individual back loop only from your chain that you just made. There's three. And one more right there. And I will admit it is the hardest in the very beginning when you're first starting these small, small tubes. It will get easier as we work up, I promise. Okay, so you wanna kinda of try to form it so that it knows which direction we're going here. All right, so that way it looks like a little bowl. Now go ahead and place your stitch marker. We've just finished the first round. We need to do black single crocheting around for two more rounds. Okay, and now we're working into both loops, so it's going to be four. You're maintaining that four stitches all the way around. And in the very last stitch of the third round, we're going to switch to white. Okay, so go ahead and just single crochet around for two rounds, but stay on the last stitch of that third round, okay? Okay, so I'm in the last stitch of the third round. I've gone in underneath that V. Okay, now it's time to yarn over from the back. So I'm yarning over with the black, pulling forward a loop. So now there's two loops on my hook. Now you wanna grab your white bonbon yarn. Okay, and you're just going to loop it around your hook and finish that last yarn over and pull through with the white. Now replace your stitch marker 
And in order to prevent jogging, which is basically where you can see the color changes because it looks like a step, um, it's a very harsh break. What we're gonna do is we're going to do the jogless um, color change here. And I have another video on that if you're interested in seeing the difference between jogging and non-jogging. Um, okay, so let's find that next stitch, which you're gonna look around, let's see. Sometimes because they're so tiny and there's so little stitches, I find it easy, this is just a tip, to count back from your hook four, so that way you can really see where you're supposed to work into. So there's one, two, three, and four. All right, here we go. And now you're gonna move these other little tails off to the side. We're gonna go into that next stitch yarn over and we're going to do a slip stitch in the very first stitch from where you did your color change whoops okay this is keeping it very low instead of building it up with a single crochet and then you'll work the rest in single crochets as usual with your white two three and four. So go ahead and do the next round. We're gonna do another round of white, but come back with me on that last stitch. We're gonna be switching back to black. Three, and in this last one here, we're gonna go ahead and switch back to black, okay? So get in your stitch here, yarn over with the white, pull forward a loop. You've got two loops on your hook, drop your white, pick up the black that you left behind and then go ahead and pull through with that. Okay, you're gonna yarn over with the black and pull through, and that gets you started with the black. We're gonna do the same thing we did with the white in order to prevent it from jogging, right? We're gonna do a slip stitch in the first stitch, and then we'll continue on doing single crochets. And we're gonna single crochet around for two rounds, we're going back and forth. So basically, if you'll see on this antenna, you're gonna continue going two rows of each color, okay? So we're gonna do the two black, switching to the white, the two white, switching to the black, and then you just do one more black here on the top. I will meet you back when you're done with that, and then we'll go ahead and I'll show you how to close this off and tie up these loose ends. Okay, so you've gotten to the end, you've done a final slip stitch, pulled up your loop, and you've pulled that thread, that last black thread through, so that's tying off, right? That was your tying off. Now you've got these ends here. So with the white tail, you can just thread your needle. I go back in through the center, coming out uh, somewhere on the white. Okay, and then I just do the same thing I normally do by grabbing a stitch, going through my loop, and making my knot. Lifting my knot, going back in, coming out somewhere else, preferably somewhere in the white, and then you pull through until the knot tucks in. Okay, and then you can snip that one away, like so, and tuck in that little end. Okay, the next thing we wanna do is we're gonna thread our needle with the black. And there's a little bit of a difference on this one. Whoops, don't you hate it when that happens? Oh my goodness. Here we go, we all get this right. Okay, got it. Okay, so on this one, since there's still a hole here, right, where that center circle is, I know it's very small, but we still need to tie it off. So we're gonna weave through the front loops only of those four stitches, okay? And, and then we'll pull tight in order to close that little gap. So we're gonna go from the outside to the middle on the front loop only of the next stitch over. Going into the next stitch, we're going from the middle back out to the outside. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thanks guys.